ultra-high definition video beamed from deep space, the Artemis II astronauts trained for their upcoming mission and an Artemis landing from inside the Orion spacecraft. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. Our Deep Space Optical Communications, or DSOC technology experiment aboard our Psyche spacecraft, recently beamed an ultra-high definition streaming video to Earth via laser from a record-setting 19 million miles away. The clip is the first ultra-high definition video sent via laser from deep space. It shows a cat chasing a laser beam and includes overlaid test graphics. DSOC is designed to transmit data from deep space at rates 10 to 100 times greater than current radio frequency systems used today. During recent training at our Johnson Space Center, the astronauts of our upcoming Artemis II mission practiced procedures to exit the Orion spacecraft in an emergency. The training is meant to ensure the crew will be ready for any emergency scenario that might occur after splashdown that will require them to leave the capsule before the recovery team arrives. This online video was recorded from inside our Orion spacecraft on its return trip to Earth on Artemis I. It gives you an idea of what astronauts inside Orion might see and hear when returning to Earth on future Artemis moon missions. On Artemis 1, Orion re-entered Earth's atmosphere at more than 24,500 miles per hour. But after being slowed by the atmosphere and Orion's parachute system, the spacecraft was only going about 20 miles per hour when it splashed down in the Pacific Ocean. You can see this entire video at go.nasa.gov slash Orion reentry. The near-infrared camera on our James Webb Space Telescope recently captured this image of Uranus. It expands upon a two-color version released earlier this year and adds additional wavelength coverage for a more detailed look. The image captured a seasonal polar cap, the planet's dim inner and outer rings, a number of its 27 known moons, and more. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more about what else we're up to, check out nasa.gov.